I look like a hot mess today, but I had to show you what Brennan's friend Alex brought in. Look. Looky. Oh. It's a baby raccoon. What's his name? Bandit. Bandit. He's so cute. He's so tiny. Yeah, and there's a couple chairs back there that I just got done painting. <laughs> they were white. Oh, shoot. I forgot to take the four pictures. Oh, well. <laughs> There's a preview of the after. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that that last clip you just saw was from yesterday. Just thought I'd throw it in there. And I haven't given you any stats because I didn't weigh because it's the weekend and I haven't been weighing on the weekends. But I can feel Tom looming. I'm just hoping that tomorrow I don't get up and find out that I'm already up two pounds from my LIW. <laughs> but we shall see. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Lori. I'm in the last leg of my 72 hours and I am by no means camera ready so you'll have to excuse the appearance but hey it's Sunday but we're just sitting outside right now um, this morning hey honey hi <laughs> there's Hayden and the neighbor girl over there Heidi Hayden and the neighbor girl over there playing a little wading pool okay so this morning we had our coffee and sitting around talking and he just started talking about P3 and I felt like the conversation was something you know that would be valuable possible possibly valuable information for a vlog so Heidi let me walk away from the noise so anyway I decided to turn on my camera and just start recording it and he didn't want to be on camera and I didn't want to be on camera either I just got up you know still had sleep in my eyes <laughs> and he still had his glasses on and didn't have his contacts in there so anyways so you get a shot of the ceiling fan most of the time unless I can figure out how to put something else in as like a background or something but I just wanted to get the conversation on video so yeah that's what you're about to hear the last two weeks, at least, I would say, Monday through Friday, or the very least Monday through Thursday, pretty much P3, eating P3. And I've been working a lot, so it hasn't really bothered me, you know what I mean? I'm not getting the urge, and I'm also not available, unless I take money with me. I really don't have P, I don't really have junk food available to me, but I'm working the P3 meal that I take, the pork chops and the green beans, is fine. Even for your 12 hour days. Yes, I get home. And when I get home and eat, generally P3, pepperoni and cheese, or some almonds, stuff I'm like grabbing potato chips. But my last two weekends have pretty much been ridiculous. You know, the two double cheeseburgers. You know, Homemade ones. You're homemade not talking ones. about that. Well. But, you know, that is four buns. That's two buns. Oh, yeah, right. that's two buns. Ketchup. Four patties. <laughs> Ketchup, and potato chips. Potato chips. Taking creatine is inducive to size, whether it be water weight, because some, some of it has been in initial stages, it is water weight, or increase in muscle size, it is still weight gain. You know, right. And it's conducive towards weight gain. Cereal, normally raisin bran. So not horrible, but still carbs with the bran flakes and the raisins and the sugar that is on the raisins. But there's been a bowl of Lucky Charms in there. And there's been a bowl of Southern Interest Crunch. Weightlifting, which not designed for weight loss, but there's some sure some calorie burning in the, in the process. But just because of the amounts of sets, not the style of weightlifting. I'm not doing the weightlifting. That's for. You're not doing... I'm not doing 20 reps. You're not doing cardio weightlifting. You're doing bodybuilding weightlifting. Well, bodybuilding, but... Well, more of that style. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say it's definitely not bodybuilding, but... Strength you, training. You are more likely to get bigger than you are smaller over the style that I'm using. Right. So your point... Your point is that the importance of P3... Without it, it's not... Without the P3, what I'm doing now would have disastrous results on... Probably on my... 
play game. Without doing P3 Without properly. P3, yes. Absolutely. Why do you think the fact that you did P3 properly matters? Because it's stabilized. I'm not yo-yoing. My metabolism is in sync. It can take... It can't take what I'm doing now over and over again. I can't eat like this all summer. And say, what? I've gained 10 pounds over the summer. I know that'll happen. If I continue this. But you can do it once in a while. You can go to Frickers and get loaded and eat all their chicken wings and french fries once in a while. And I have done some drinking. Not very much, but a little bit of drinking. You can do it once in a while. Doing P2 and not doing P3 correctly is like getting the football on your goal line running 90 yards for a touchdown with no one around you at all then you just you just run out of bounds at the same time why would you do that you're right there <laughs> why would you do it nice metaphor I mean, why, why would you do it i don't know <laughs> doesn't make any sense especially now like in the, you're running 90 yards for the touchdown no one around you just finish it and if you finish it and you get that touchdown, how satisfying is that? That would be great. That's the same way as when you're in P3. You're <laughs> done. You're done. This is what I weigh. And if you do it successfully, as I've shown and told you before, yes, I have gained all my weight back. In the past. In the past. And I went from wearing double X shirts. You didn't gain all your weight back by any means. When I started P2 for the very first time, I weighed 230 some pounds, wearing double extra large shirts and size 38 pants and stuff. Right. Well, before I just did this last round, I was 252 pounds. Okay, I see. You mean yeah. all of your weight from HCG time? Yes. From your HCG time. So I ended up putting all that weight back on, plus an additional 19 to 20 more pounds. Yeah. And in that time, I was still wearing double, or I was still wearing extra large shirts and size 36 pants, albeit they were a little snugger. A little. But the double extra large shirts still were hung off of me. So HCG actually reshapes your body and puts the fat more where it belongs what else can you what how else can you attribute that i don't know because it's, it is true i've noticed it myself i was at 252 pounds weighing wearing the same clothes i wore when i was down to 196. so it's important to do p3 properly because that's where your hypothalamus resets which controls your metabolism it's not the only thing it controls but when it resets and your metabolism resets, that's where you're going to stabilize. And then when you go into P4, you're going to be able to have some indulgences now and then and be okay with that. Because even though right now you haven't been eating that great over the weekend, right this minute you're up two pounds, which really in life maintenance is a pretty normal fluctuation. But once you get back into your work week, that two pounds is going to come right back off without effort. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's also, I think, the difference between losing weight on a 500 calorie a day diet and doing HCG and doing 500 calories a day. There is a big key there. Is that biggest thing I can pretend that would make me able to put on that much weight is the fact that on HCG, the HCG preserves your muscle mass. Right. And how else can you explain it? It preserves the muscle mass. That is the key. So you're pro HCG and pro doing P3 properly. I'm against HCG being done repeatedly. 
like I do. But you still support me. Of course. I don't believe it's right to do it all the time. But you know that some of my rounds have been just to get my fat percent down to, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've done it myself. Where else can you do that on three weeks? Well, I mean, like for a guy or a girl. A girl's going to drop 10, 12 pounds, maybe, in three weeks' time. A guy can drop, you know, 18, 22 pounds, you know, in a week or three weeks. Where else can you do that and maintain it? which is the importance of P3. The P2 is the motivator. And that's what people take P2 serious. That's where, that's where you are seeing and feeling the difference, is P2. You're weighing every morning or every other morning or whatever, and you're seeing the weight loss on the scale with your eyes. And that's when you are putting on a dress or shirt, whatever, from five years ago. Like, holy crap, it fits again. That's going on during P2. That's when you're checking yourself out in the mirror every few days. <coughs> hey, look there, you know. You're, that's going on during P2. Once you hit P3, you aren't seeing the results. I don't think that's why people don't take P3 all as serious. Nothing's happening. Visually, P3 might very well be more important than the P2. P3 is when the body is actually doing the work. Okay, this is where you're at. Okay, we're going to make it so this is this is what you want. This is how we're going to adjust your body. It's probably when the actual work is really going on. You don't see it. You don't feel it. But that's when your body is doing the work. I guess when your hypothalamus has been reset which is resetting your metabolism to allow you to be at that weight. That's probably when the real work is going on. 